Hi. So welcome to Life on Lockdown, <laughs> which is really what it is. And what's to be done while we're all in our homes? I'll tell you what's to be done. There's loads to be done. And I think we should start with our hauls. So I'm going to give you some tips today on how to revamp your haul with whatever you've got in the house or whatever you can order very easily and cheaply online while companies are still delivering. I think, yeah, most of them are still delivering. Anyway, we're going to start with a haul. So now that you've got nothing else to do because everything else is done, uh, unless you're working from home, of course. Now, haul, we start with the front door. The first thing you've got to do, regardless if you have a porch in front of your hall door, I need you to wash the door and I need you to clean the windows in the door. Doors get incredibly dusty, really, really dusty. Even if, you know, you probably don't even look at your door, but trust me, your doors get really, really dusty. So you'll need to wash it down. If you could do that, that would be great. I need you to vacuum your stairs. I need you to vacuum your hall or wash your tiles, whatever it has, whatever it is you have in your hall. And I also need you to go for all the cobwebs. I have been in this house now for almost three weeks and I have never seen so many cobwebs. It's like a Halloween set, it really is. I've never seen anything like it, but anyway. Get rid of all your cobwebs and stuff like that. Now, having cleaned, cleaned it up, what you need to do is get rid of the clutter. Just take all the coats and all the football boots and the boots and the runners and everything else that's just been dumped in the hall and take them into another room because you're going to sort through them and you are going to bring all the winter coats upstairs that people are not using anymore and you're going to get rid of the rugby boots because I don't think anybody's going to be playing anymore and all the bits and pieces that generally just arrive in the hall. I mean, uh, my sons are very guilty of just dropping stuff in the hall. It'll take you five minutes to sort through it, put stuff into the shed, you know, football boots, rugby boots, and then put coats and jackets and stuff that people are not using either under the stairs, if you have a cupboard under the stairs for those sort of things, or just back up in the bedrooms. Let's just get rid of it. And I promise you, your hall will look bigger and tidier. And when things are tidier, it just makes you feel better. And now that you're spending a lot of time at home, you, you know, you really need sort of a clear mind. It's therapeutic almost. Okay, so I need you to do this. Now, in terms of decorating and sprucing the place up, what you can do is, you know, you don't have to, I mean, painting a hall, stairs and landing is a big job. You don't have to do that. No sorry. All you've got to do is, if you want to, change the paint or you find the paint is very very grubby is you can just paint one wall you don't have to paint the whole thing what i normally do is i paint uh, the wall at the far end of the hall more regularly than the rest of the hall because there's a huge amount of traffic there and people grappling with lights and stuff it's always very grubby so and footballs that sort of thing usually end up there so you can if you want to you can actually paint just one wall and it will totally change the whole look of your hall. The second thing you can do is, you know all those pictures and photographs and stuff that you've had for ages and you meant to put them up, but you just haven't had the time to put them up. Now, what you can do is order some frames online. I will give you some picture examples of what I'm talking about so you actually know what I'm talking about. I'll. Um, I'll just put some pictures in the middle of this this video so you know what I'm talking about. You can arrange, you know, a rogues gallery if you want in your hall. Um, what I would suggest is if you're going to do that, this is very exciting actually because it will change the entire hall, rather than sticking one picture, one picture, one picture up your stairs, let's not do that. What I think we should do is on the straight, the long hallway that you have, or even short hallway that you have, we should just stick some pictures there. And I need them all to be the same frames. I need, if you're using black and white pictures, they all have to be black and white pictures. Or if you're using coloured pictures, they all have to be coloured pictures. But I will put some examples up, examples up, so you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, if you have a radiator cover in your hall, it would be a good idea to put a lamp or two on your radiator cover. <coughs> Excuse me. 
it will change the entire ambiance do you like that the whole ambiance of your hall in the evening time we can get um, soft light bulbs and if you have one at either end of your radiator cover the radiator cover all of a sudden becomes like a console table and it is really really lovely and then you can actually place some pictures in between there or if you have a mirror that's been lying about and yes I buy stuff and leave it lying about and suddenly find it and remember what I was going to do with it What you can do then is after that after all of that what you can do is get a small basket again you can order online or you can buy it in your supermarket most large supermarkets have what they call like hardware stores where they sell stationery and they sell tea towels and that sort of things a lot of them will sell tablecloths and sweeping brushes and that type of thing and you may be able to pick up a basket there if not again order online most of the stores have their online shops are still open so just have a little look there you'll be amazed at what you can pick up online and a lot of places aren't charging any delivery at the moment because everybody and the granny's ordering online to be honest so you can get a basket or a box depending on the decor of your hall and you can just put the essentials just the essentials into the basket so I would suggest each member of your family only has one item in this. No, this is not going to work. I wouldn't imagine in this house one item in the basket and that's it. OK, um, but get a big enough basket so they can all have two items like two pairs of shoes or an added football or early stick or tennis racket, whatever it is, you know, you play in your house. But just get something to collect all the Fur not furniture, the accessories that your family will arrive with in your hall. Okay, I hope this was of some help to you. Um, I hope some of the pictures have helped you to actually understand what I'm talking about. But seriously, this is a great time to clean your home and refresh your home. And just, you know, you're there and you're going to be there for a long time. So I suggest you even just clean. Okay, thanks. Thanks for watching. See you next time.